Hi guys, my name is Mason, and this is Reptile Info. So, today I have a three striped mud turtle. He's trying to go on the weeds. <sighs> that looks like a rock. And so, what I, and so, if you're curious what I got, so I got him a turtle glass tank. It's kind of like a tub. So we can crawl up here and you can put water in here, put plants, and the holes filter out the water in here and water comes out here. So you can put minnows and tadpoles in here and turtles, like what it's meant for. And they, it filters it out, that aerates it. So poop goes in the holes, filters all out, comes out here and it's clean water. And the light is just a heat lamp. He doesn't really bask a lot sometimes. But and also this food, everything here is off of Amazon. But the company that got the food is called Reptomin. And I'm going to go down to the pond. And I'll see you guys at the pond. All right, we're down by the pond. And so what I have is a basic setup for when you catch minnows and all that. An aerator, a bucket with a little bit of water. Crystal clear, but well, well, not crystal, crystal clear water, but you can see right through it. And I am going to catch minnows, tadpoles, whatever I can catch. So in here, there's a bunch of tadpoles. I'll go to this later, but I'm, try, I'm gonna try and catch animals. So come over here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a bunch of little minnows. You might not be able to see them. There's a bunch of little tiny minnows. Those are the guys I'm trying to catch. Then you check in all the muck, because they usually get muck. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. I kind of got lucky. Well, well, there's a shrimp. No. So. There's a shrimp, a goat shrimp. They can live in brackish and fresh water. I'm gonna put them in the bucket because he can clean the tank and also he can act as a food source. Because if I catch minnows, he's gonna act as a food for source for them and the turtle. But it looks like nothing else in this muck. Oh, another one another shrimp he's smaller so he really hasn't um matured like all the shrimp in here are ghost shrimp i, I think i only need like two or three because you don't really need that many shrimp so in here and the muck in here might have a crawfish every little, now and then or Tadpoles or minnows, they have everything. Next, a lot of shrimp again. I don't need shrimp. So let's try and see the little pond, because the little pond sometimes has minnows here because. It connects, it has a pipe that connects to a pond down there and it connects to here. It's around the, like, in the middle. But, like, if you go over here in the structure, it everywhere. Sometimes. Might be over in the shade because Florida, a zillion degrees. Well, this is my last net. I might not catch any minnows or tadpoles. I might just have to stick with shrimp, but it's fine. He'll eat them. And I caught a whole lot. 
lot of nothing. Dang it. Well, I'll meet you guys back at the house. Hi guys. So I did a little bit of off camera netting and I got a few more shrimp because I wasn't catching any minnows or fish or tadpoles. So, but here they are. Also, I got a snail. He's gonna clean the tank. And also, when he gets a little bit bigger, it'll be a food source. Cause in the wild, three striped mud turtles, they eat snails and shrimp and fish and tadpoles. So, just gonna come over and put the snail. Oh, he'll, he'll flip over. He'll probably eat the algae on here, go in here. Like, he's starting to grow algae. And, now it's time for the shrimp. They'll also eat algae, and they're also a feeder. They're also commonly in pet stores for feeders. As you can see, commonly pet stores. Pop, come in there. Another guy, come over here. I'm not dumping the water in because it's bacterialized. Don't even a word. Just catch them. Pop. But um, that's basically it for today's video. Peace.